In the name of Allah, most gracious, most merciful. Verily, this Quran do guide to that which is most right or stable, and give the glad tidings to the believers who work deeds of righteousness, that they shall have a magnificent reward. And to those who believe not in the hereafter, it announces that we have prepared for them a penalty grievous indeed. The pair that man should make for good, he makes for evil, for man is given to his deeds. We have made the night and the day as two of our signs. The sign of the night have we obscured, while the sign of the day we have made to enlighten you. That he may seek bounty from your Lord, and that he may know the number and count of the years, all things have we explained in detail. Every man's fate we have fastened on his own neck. On the day of judgment we shall bring out for him a scroll which he will see spread open. It will be said to him, read thy own record, sufficient is thy soul this day to make out an account against thee. Who receive guidance, receive it for his own benefit. Who goes astray, do so to his own loss. No bearer of burdens can bear the burden of another, nor would we visit with our wrath until we had sent an apostle to give warning. <laughs> After this beautiful recitation, it would be a great honor for us if we formally initiate our proceedings with the speeches of the presidents of ICAP and ICMAP. First, I would like to invite Mr. Rashid Rahman Mir, President of ICAP. Mr. Rashid Rahman is a fellow member of three institutes, that is ICAP, ICMAP, and PIPFA, and he is currently the President of ICAP and PIPFA. He is also the founding partner of Rahman Sarfraz Rahim Iqbal Rafi, Chart Accountants. He has been the president of Lahore Tax Bar Association for the term 2004-2005 and senior vice president of Pakistan Tax Bar Association for the term 2005-2007. to And ever smiling and pleasant personality, I would like to call upon stage the honorable president. Ladies and gentlemen, Assalamu alaikum and good afternoon. Honorable Chief Guest, Mr. Ian Raman, President Safa, respected guests of honor, Mr. Zafar Subhani. Mr. Nadeem Nakwi, MD Karachi Stock Exchange, and Ms. Ambreen Wahid, CEO, Responsible Business Initiative. Mr. Hassan Bilgrami, President ICMAP, CEOs, CFOs, representatives of the companies, and the members of ICAP and ICMAP. It is my great privilege to welcome you all to the Best Corporate Reports Award ceremony this afternoon. I am really thankful to Mr. Rahman who has made great effort to be in Pakistan with us here today. I am pleased to note that this is his fourth visit to Pakistan as Safa President. 
2011 is the golden jubilee year of ICAP. Since the establishment in 1961, the institute has been continuously progressing and, and seen as a model of self-regulation. Within these 50 years, the institute has earned status of being recognized as one of the premier international bodies, accounting bodies, with its members spread out across the globe and renowned as professionals of high esteem. This was largely due to the sheer dedication of our predecessors, the devotion and talent of our professionals throughout the five decades. IC, ICAP has been playing a key role in the developing the profession at the national as well as regional and international level. In bodies like SAFA, CAPA and IFAC, through its ongoing contribution to enhance the quality of disclosures and transparency aspects of the corporate governance and financial reporting. The Best Corporate Reports Award is jointly arranged and evaluated by ICAP and ICMEP since year 2000. It is a highly regarded prestigious occasion that is strongly appreciated by professional associations, investor groups, corporate sector and the business community. Now, in the 11th year, the competition continues to play an important role in establishing benchmarks and encouraging improvements in the standards of corporate governance and financial reporting. It aims to enhance transparency and accountability in financial reporting to the stakeholders and prospective investors, particularly in the case of public listed companies. I am glad to see that over the years the best practices in annual reports have significantly improved. A milestone was achieved last year when two Pakistani companies received top awards in the SAFA Best Presented Accounts competition. I must congratulate the management of Pakistan Petroleum Limited and Siemens Pakistan Limited for the achievement and would trust that other companies would strive for the same in the coming years. I must say that we have successfully achieved the desired objective for launching this award.